Okay, this is the internal view of the static transfer switch. Of course, there will be plastic covers. When you use them, the plastic covers are removed because uh, right now we are uh, taking a demonstration video. Here, as you can see, the main sources, source one and source two breaker. And here you can see the bypass breakers interlocked with the key. And there is an output breaker. These are the alarm terminals, dry contact alarm terminals. Um, the, there is an earth, earth, earthing bus bar here. And this is the TCP IP converter that you can get the communication out of here. Uh, and this section is that the, the only section that has the energy, uh, the energy flow goes on. And this, this is the board section. As you can see, this is the thyristor blocks, uh, thyristor driver boards, uh, varistor boards, and uh, voltage surge protection boards. And these are the, this section is the control board. Uh, and filter cover, this is the power supply. The power supplies are redundant. Uh, so one, even one power supply has failed. The other power supply will keep the aesthetic transfer switch for extra safety and extra reliability. Uh, okay, this is how the components work. Then let me, I will show you how to operate the bypass. Okay, when, it, it, when it, the key is on this position, this is very important. If the key is this position, you cannot switch the bypass breaker, so it, you will break it. So in this position, you will remove the bypass. Now, right now, the bypass one is closed, so device can be running through the bypass. So you can just shut down input, output, and the device will, will be without the energy, and you can do any, any works, anything you want, from the board section without any fear of electricity. Okay, so this is how the internals operate.